there's a uh, and there's a lower pitch gong when you are on uh, theta, right? For my class. And uh, so, but the, but the trick with alpha theta is you hear the alpha first, right? When you start to relax. If you hear the alpha gong, the high pitch gong, and then you just take a deep breath, you're going to hear the theta gong. You're gonna to start to hear the theta gong. One, and, 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 and they'll both be a, a, an a exercise in deep relaxation. You know what I mean? So that's the difference. I mean, it's, it's, it's really kind of hard to explain the subjective experience of what you feel in your head when you're doing something, right? But, you know, when alpha, you definitely feel like, yeah, it's work, you know, it's good, but, you know, I'm running, you know what I mean? You know, right. And, and with theta, uh, you won't hear the gongs until you are relaxed enough. You see what I'm saying? You know, with alpha theta, you're sitting there going, okay, well, I'm listening and I hear music or whatever. And then it's, it's not until you take a deep breath and like that, that you, you start hearing the, 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 the high pitch. And, uh, and then when you, when you hear the high pitch, you go even deeper, more relaxed. It's basically like training yourself to meditate, right? Correct. Right. Training yourself to be able to just just relax everything, relax. Let, and if you release every muscle in your body deliberately, right, in the state of like just complete relaxation, uh, savasana, what they call it in yoga, when you finish a yoga session and you just lay on the mat, like everything is just relaxed. Right. Um, that's when you really get alpha and theta at the same time. That's when you really start. That was good for me. I've actually never done that one. Oh, okay. Okay. So, that one was pretty good. But hey, Dad, what are you doing for? Like, what? What? Because I know you want to explain the Edgar Hill. It's just because you have to tell him what no, we do to put on. Yeah, we did. We talked about it. Okay. Because I don't think that one would be good for him his first time. Well, no. That's why he'll. He'll. Devin will know he's got the PTSD guy coming in, so he'll know what oh, to do. Yeah. I'm saying you, whatever you want to work on. Oh, yeah, I was telling him about, you know, alcohol consumption and stuff yeah. like that. So we're doing the detox. Yes, sir. Because the first person. time I did this, it really made my uh, kidneys hurt. It did? Not hurt, but like you can tell. It worked, huh? Yeah, it made them work, yeah. You can tell that they're getting Your navel is right here, right? Where's your navel? Yeah, that's correct. All right, this is for your stem cells, okay? Hey, Dad, where can I get a, a, one of those light bulbs? We'll, we'll go to O'Reilly's as soon as we're done here. It shouldn't be a big deal at all, right? <laughs> <coughs> I'm just hoping not. No, I mean, you could YouTube it. Hold on, mom's coming. Hello? This is, the, this is the kicker right here. Pancreas, pancreas. Seriously. So, something's happening right now? Uh-huh. What's happening is we're depolarizing any pH imbalances. Whenever there's a pathogen, a virus or a bacteria or um, a parasite or a um, fungus, right? You, you're, it's gonna cause a pH imbalance, right? A virus would cause it to be acidic in most cases. A bacteria would cause it to be alkaline in most cases. Speaking of, that's a very important pair, so I'm gonna use these very big magnets. Um, most virus, as we're explaining right now, a lot of viruses reside in the colon, right? In the large intestine. So pick up your seat, pick up your hips, off the bed. Like, see, we yeah, move up. There you go. So right here, I know it's uncomfortable, okay? Right under the seat. And then a virus would hold on to the, to the colon, right? Acidic, by means of E. coli bacteria, which resides in the thymus gland right there. The E. coli is a bacteria and it is alkaline. So we put the positive of the magnet here. The two are holding on to each other by means of both of their mutual pH imbalances. With the magnets, what we're doing is depolarizing. You see? We're, we're, we're breaking that relationship between the two. And uh, <clears throat> once that happens, uh, after about a half hour or so, um, the body is restored to a level of pH balance within which it would no longer tolerate 
the toxins. And uh, you're gonna experience a little bit of detox today. Uh, so drink a lot of water. Um, make sure you drink a lot of water, seriously. Imagine some dehydrated. Remember when I told you how to I'm wet gonna drink this water all day, but I do, I do have a wedding tonight, so I know there'll be some wine involved. Guess what? You will probably uh, not even have a hangover after the session, even if you have a few drinks at the wedding. You trip out tomorrow on how good you feel. But the trick is the water. So I'll drink water all day. Yes. No, so I'll have a cow. Yes. And this kid, you're going to do the Alpha Theta. Alpha Theta. Theta. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. He's not. Uh, his life has changed. It has? It really has. I mean, that's good to hear. You need to have him come in and just talk to you about where he was. Really? And where he's at now. That's really good to hear, man. I mean, he was he was an addict addicted to painkillers. Uh huh. And, you know, doing the addict. Bad shit. And the combination of. Uh, now, he's, now he's working full time. Working full time, yeah. excellent. They're working full time, they're trying to get his insurance license, taking the test. Yeah. They're still, still making him mature, you know. Well, kids like, are kids, like right? not studying enough for your test yeah. and stuff like that. But I said he might just change. Okay, now also, for those of us who may smoke here, subclavio, subclavio. This is the circulation that affects the throat, believe it or not. You can stop my wife from smoking me a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can try. So now you got your lungs, your kidney, uh, oh, bladder, okay, the bladder has to do this. Um, lungs, kidney, pancreas, ascending and descending colon, okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear that the combination of therapies was good for him. Yeah, because he's also seen a psychiatrist. Really? And the psychiatrist was kind of amazed at last, his last visit. Wow. Psychiatrist? Who's the one who provides drugs? Psychiatrist. Psychiatrist, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? So she noticed a difference. Well, he, he told my wife, he's like, this is a different kid. He's wow. Like, he's got weight on him. He's more talkative. He's wow. That makes me feel really good, man. That is cool. Yeah, man, he's done He's had to put on at least 10 pounds. Really? All right, so. But, you know, I tell him, you know, being an addict, you're not out of the water with one visit. No, you got to keep it up. These are right here for your bladder, right? So you can put them right there. Or if you don't mind, I'll stick them in your belt. Let your belt hold them. So now, these are all your detox organs, and we started at exactly 11, so we'll give it to until 11.30, at least 11.30. And I'm gonna hook him up for Alpha Theta Neuro Sequence. lights for? Uh, just to see, just for the camera, for everything. Yeah, I saw you had a camera. What are you doing with the camera? I go live and I communicate with my daughter. I used to communicate with my daughter and my son in Spain. And he jumped out of the loop. Really? How'd that happen? Oh, I don't know. He's, you know, he's 31, man, and not really doing anything, and I'm his dad. I'm not gonna not remind him of that, right? <laughs> sure. You know what I mean? So, you know, he doesn't want to hear what I have to say, so he's in control of, he's all the way in Spain with his mom, so. He 
doesn't realize that he's not on the right path. You are. You went to USC, right? No, 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 no. no. I was in the Air Force. I thought you did. Is that where you got your education? Mm -hmm. Is that where you? Is that where Spain comes into the picture? Yep. United States Air Force, eighty-four to eighty-eight. I was in the I was in the Air Force from eighty-three to eighty-eight. Gave him five years. But I had to give him an. Yeah, they don't like to be reminded. I mean, I I I call it coaching, whatever you parenting, whatever, and I, I'm coaching this kid all day, man. Yeah, I mean, you got to tell him the right thing. I mean, it, it's your responsibility and your right. <laughs> and they got to realize it doesn't matter how good you're doing. They every you know, Michael Jordan needs a coach. You know, of course, Tony Bryant needs a coach. No matter how good you're doing. Renee, is he here? You might need to call them. I see the keys back, but back, you're not done. Your football team? Oh, I don't even know this year, man. Uh, man, I think the Saints went good a few years ago, a couple of years ago. I'm from New Orleans originally, but I just kind of roll with it, you know. I'm trying to get some Chargers and uh, Rams in here for high peak performance neurofeedback training. That'd be nice. Oh yeah, because it's always no matter what the the, the cooler head prevails in sports, you know even in a rough sport like football. Basketball.
my son who started to make music. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's nice because hey, he's only ten. I figured, you know, it's just just start playing with the software, right? Right. But that's all software is. Is you know, the more you play with it, the, the better you get. Even if you don't intend to, you know, you just become more and more familiar with it. I'm sure by the time he gets to high school or even junior high, when you know, being the guy who knows how to make beats becomes important to him, right? Right, right. <laughs> when it becomes socially important, he'll be glad that he had that early exposure. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Also, positively, okay, is this metal? Uh, I'm trying to ask. Let's see if it's ferrous. Right. Yeah, not all metals are ferrous. Yeah, if we were closer to the equator, it would take less time, uh, about, uh, some say 10 minutes, right, 10, 15 minutes. And uh, if we were up in Canada, it would take longer, it would take twice as long. It depends on the, the force of the gravitational field of the Earth, where you are. Ooh. Ow. You okay? Oh, it's really hurting. Oh, oh, yeah. oh my God. When you kidney? Yeah. Really? I'm in sharp pain. Where? Right here? Yeah. All right, let me move this up. How about that? All right. There? That's fine. Yeah. It just came and it just came for a minute and left. Might, you might have been breaking your kidney stone. <laughs> There's a break in the stone. I think this boy left. Yeah, but... He came in two different cars. Oh, no! Yeah. He's not being a good listener. Uh, I said I was going to look him up. I thought you understood. Try calling him. It's on 909. What's the phone? What's up? There we go. Okay. him making them immature decisions. But we train the frontal lobe at a high frequency. And then he's then he's and then he was impulsive. So yeah we'll definitely go back and offer. to O'Reilly's so and I told him his his uh brake oh. light was out. Oh 
But he knows better. I mean, very impatient. Really, huh? Oh, yeah. Son came full circle. You know, when <clears throat> when uh we were kids, you know, all we had were when was Legos were just the block, the bricks, right? Right. And they were either red or white, right? <laughs> yes. That's all they had, just red and white bricks. Just these these rectangular bricks. That's all that's, this is what a Lego was, you know? And um and then you know, we, we have so many of the kits, right? Uh, you can build a fire truck, a house. Oh my God, yeah. Well, we, we have all of the theme ones for Transformers, for, you know, you know SpongeBob, for uh, Minecraft. But now my son is into the classic sets with just regular, you know, pieces, right? That you can make whatever you want out of it. And so it's kind of coming back to old school, right? Yeah, I see what you're saying, full circle, yeah. Yeah, it's come full circle because when you get those kits, they have a lot of specialized parts that they are Lego parts, but they only work for what it was designed to be. You know what I mean? They only work, like if, if you're buying a Batman set, there are a lot of special parts in there that really only work on, you know, on the Batmobile or something, you know what I mean? Right. But with regular square, you know, Generic Legos, you can build whatever you want. That's cool. It's like an advance. It's like a um, a step forward in his creativity. You know what I mean? You can do it with less uh, less preparation. You can just do it with uh, more raw materials, more more from scratch. You know. I can can use more imagination. More imagination. Yeah. And he's doing good, it's surprising. I mean, that's not surprising that he's doing good, but he's, he's surprising me with the stuff he's coming up with. What about weight loss, Devin? Oh, let's see. We've got a few pairs. See, Dr. Goyce put together this nice directory here of all of the pairs to deal with all of the concerns. So we can just go, it's all in Spanish. Uh, Where's Dr. Goyce from? Mexico. Oh. I studied in Spanish. Oh, look, I even have it open right here, obesity, obesidad. It's the first thing under O. And there are quite a few. Obesidad, obesidad con apetito. Uh, obesidad deforme, endogena. Extrema, obesidad extrema. Obesidad morbida. I mean, there are lots. Obesidad por mala digestión. Trastornos. Yeah, there are lots of pairs, but it, it, it definitely works. I mean, you know, I, I had someone who suffered for years with polycystic ovarian syndrome. And uh, with just those two magnets, the one you have on your thymus and, and rectum right now, um, we were able to restore uh, menstruation the very next day. Wow. After the first treatment, yeah. The very next day. Is the dog grooming any good? Yeah, they are. Yeah. They take care of my little one. My dog grew out with a rash. Really? From a groomer? No, I don't know what, what. She just got out of nowhere. She turned one and she started getting bumps on her back. Oh, man. 
They're really big. So I went online and they said make a 50-50 uh, solution with apple cider vinegar and water and spray it on her with infected areas. So I did that. I gave her Benadryl, fish oil, and I was wiping her down with uh, coconut oil. And it seems to be getting better, so I'm not sure which one is the remedy. Well, it's good that something starts to work. Yeah, uh, coconut oil is not cheap either. I just fumigated my apartment and decided to just kind of not stay away from it for the whole weekend and just let it, <laughs> let it air out, you know? Yeah, let the toxins yeah. settle. So exactly. They fumigated the whole complex? Nope, I just did my apartment. You bomb it? Yep. With four different bombs. What were you getting? Uh, man, they had everything in that complex, man. Roaches to silverfish. Yeah, well, you know, and also, you know, the, 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 the weather's getting cooler. I took my dog here yesterday, right? I gave him a flea bath. They said he had some. So obviously they're in the house. So I figured uh, he's the dog is at my son's mother's house, they have two other small dogs just like him. So all three of those dogs are over there. And uh, I'm like, look, just, you know, don't let them give him fleas, right? Right. And, and I'm gonna be flea my entire house, you know what I mean? Everything, you know, bed bugs, I mean, they're just terrible. Rice, a lot of rats and mice. I, I, I had the uh, city come out and have them cut all of the trees because the tree branches are supposed to be three feet away from the building. They're not supposed to be touching the roof. Right. You know, rats get up on that building that way. My brother adopted a beagle the other day. A beagle? It was in somebody's backyard who was not caring for him. Just had him back there, you know. Mm. Or her and the uh, she was flea ridden. Oh, I mean, he so he said that. I don't know if I want to adopt this dog. She's doesn't have any personality, etc. Well, they've been abused and neglected. It's kind of. I hard. said, hey, you try living a week with a hundred fleas on you. Yeah. And see if your body's gonna, you know, react. It'll take a it'll take a while, depending on how old the dog is. It'll it'll, it'll take a while. Um, well, she's doing great, like a week later. But really? they, they gave her some pill that within 24 hours kills all the fleas. Wow. It's a very expensive pill. Okay. And then they give her a flea bath and love. And she's getting comfortable, yeah. And she's ready now. Yeah, that's all love. Ready to be a dog again. Yeah, it's so sad, man. Makes you wonder why people even choose them. That's right. But you gotta be ready for that. Working on a website? Yeah, because you know, once you get started on, on anything, right? Like 
editing videos, working on the website. Once you get started, you're gonna be in front of your computer for hours. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. You gotta be ready. You gotta be set up. And there's a few loose ends that I have to turn. Like right now, you know, with the house, right? You know, I'm gonna have to go and clean up. I'm gonna take everything, all of my clothes, and send them to the fluff and fold down. You know what I mean? Get the stuff washed out. You know. And uh, and my sheets and new blankets and everything, all of that, pillows, all of that. Now I'm just sort of pillows. Yeah, they're cheap enough at Walmart. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Usually it's fourth quarter, right? I take the fourth quarter and I concentrate on all of the stuff that has to do with the web, uh, web marketing. I, I just purchased the database of everyone in this area code, uh, zip code, uh, who is making a hundred grand or more, and uh, in, in a twenty mile radius around two. to the, the, the you know, Chargers and the Rams, but they're kind of hard to get in, you know? Because a lot of the stuff, a lot of the technology, they train their trainers to do, you know? Right. Those trainers make money. Yeah, they're making like, what, 250 a year? Yeah. That's not, that's not bad, huh? Not bad. Especially you travel to all of the games so oh, yeah. with the team. Oh my god. <laughs> Staying in a hotel. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad at all. Parties. <laughs> massage for an hour because I'm 20 minutes in I'm bored man <laughs> I'm like hey, are you done I gotta go I do about a half an hour and if I could last the whole time I'm amazed at myself normally half an hour and somewhere in between I'm saying okay I'm done they're like you're not we're not done with time I'm done <laughs> So I guess when you run the credit card, um, my credit card is for medical use only and it doesn't recognize this, your swiper as a medical facility. Right, no, yeah. So, so it's not like a regular visa? No. Um, it's a health savings account. I don't know if the, I don't know if, cause I, I just use regular square up, you know? I just use regular square or what they call point of sale now. They change square, they call it point of sale. You might want to ask them. Because I could use it at like Walmart pharmacy, Walgreens, doctor's offices, all that. Yeah, but see, square doesn't have like business category. Oh. You know, it's just a standard cash register. They don't ask you what you do or anything like that. Oh, that's why. Yeah, I need I need a I need a payment processor, a better payment processor. A few changes I'm going to be making in the coming year. All about marketing. 
marketing, man. It really is. Every yoga place should have your business card. Should know who you are. Yoga, huh? Yeah. Yep. Every health food store. See, the problem is it's hard to approach these guys, man, for like cooperative marketing agreements and stuff. A lot of them, they don't have that kind of vision, which is unfortunate because they're entrepreneurs. They think they would, you know? Well, not all of them are going to be receptive, but that's what marketing is. That's what it is, yeah. doctor down there in downtown Upland makes a killing. Really, huh? Yeah, he does acupuncture and sells nothing but herbs. Really? Acupuncture? Oh, yeah, doctor or, I don't know, Lee or you know, downtown Upland, man. I mean, he's making a million dollars a year. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, some of those spots are open right down there. But he knows his shit. He does, huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, you walk in and he can look at you and, you know, tell you what's ailing you before you tell him. Nice. Okay. My niece used to go to him for headaches. She had severe migraines. Wow. Did he help her? He did. But he put her on a diet that she couldn't keep up with. Oh. That shouldn't be done, right? Oh, yeah. You got about a minute over, actually. <laughs> All right, so. Experience some detox, uh, like a little detox headache. Uh, uh, but if there was any of the hangover feeling, you should be over it within an hour or so. to try to hypnotherapy stuff one day. Yeah, yeah, we can definitely do that. Man. I mean, I would like to, you know, we can change things about your mind.